In the previous video, we covered Ohm's Law and EMF sources. Let's now take a look at resistors in series and resistors in parallel connection. First, let's take a look at some symbols that are used to draw circuit diagrams. You have the resistor, which is represented by zigzag lines. And then you have the ideal EMF source represented by two parallel lines. The longer line represents the high potential or, neg or, or positive terminal, whereas the shorter line represents the low potential or negative terminal. Hence, you have potential difference or voltage. For a real EMF source, you have internal resistance combined with the voltage source. Together, they make up a real EMF source. Finally, we have the electric current represented by an arrow. Wherever the arrow is pointing, that's the direction of the electric current. That's the direction that the charges are flowing. There are two types of electric circuits or simple circuits. You have the direct current circuits and the alternating current circuits. Direct current circuits or DC circuits, the current is considered more or less constant. Whereas in alternating current circuits or AC circuits, the current is variable. The current is changing, alternating from one value to another, just like a sinusoidal function, for example. When a current passes through a resistor, energy is dissipated, typically in the form of heat or thermal energy. The energy is dissipated at the rate of power is equal to IV. The unit of power you will recall is watts or joules per second. Power is equal to IV is also equal to I squared R and is also equal to V squared over R. Now, there are two ways of connecting resistors in a series. You can connect them in series or you can connect them in parallel. And of course, you can have combination of the two, combination of series and parallel connections. Resistors in series. In series connection, the resistors are connected one after another to form a single line. For instance, say that you have three resistors, R1, R2, and R3. If these three resistors are connected in series, you have the following figure. You have R1 followed by R2 followed by R3. If we let a current I pass through the resistors in series, the total voltage, V total, is just the summation of the voltages at the individual resistors. Voltage at R1 is V1, voltage at R2 is V2, and voltage across R3 is V3. And the total voltage is V1 plus V2 plus V3. Again, total voltage is equal to V1 plus V2 plus V3. Now, since there's only one line, there's only one current. Current I1 is equal to current I2 is equal to current I3 is equal to I total. Resistors in series connection may be replaced by a single resistance R equivalent. And R equivalent is just the summation of the individual resistances. R equivalent is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. Next up, resistors in parallel. In parallel connection, the endpoints of the resistors are connected together such that the resistors form parallel lines as shown. Say again, you have three resistors, 
R1, R2, and R3. The three resistors are connected in parallel as shown in the figure. If you now let a current I enter the resistors in parallel connection, the line or wire has been divided into three. The current will also divide into three. Current I1 will pass through R1. Current I2 will pass through R2. And current I3 will pass through R3. Three lines, three currents. And the total current I is just equal to I1 plus I2 plus I3. The current will divide in such a way that the voltages will be equal. The voltage in R1, voltage in R2, voltage in R3 will be equal. V total is equal to V1, is equal to V2, is equal to V3. Just like resistors in series, resistors in parallel connection may be replaced with a single resistance, R equivalent. 1 over R equivalent is equal to 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2, plus 1 over R3. Ohm's law, EMF sources, resistors in series, and resistors in parallel connection are more than enough in analyzing and solving many simple circuit problems. This is particularly true for simple circuits that have only one power source or one voltage source. But if you see that a particular circuit has more than one voltage source, that's an indication or clue that you might have to use a more powerful analytical tool. And one such analytical tool is Kirchhoff's rules. Kirchhoff's or Kirchhoff's rules, which we will discuss in the next video.